this is a male mink that I just uh, I just cleaned and uh, believe it or not he's a big humongous one so uh, I'm going to, uh, this is what I do nice and shiny one I put him into uh, into uh, into this stuff right here that's for livestock it's louse powder that uh, in a bag uh, in with the other mink that I had and then I got sawdust right here sawdust and this is some fine sawdust and I just flip it inside out like this and just heave it down in sawdust and swirl it all around it and get, get the fat it absorbs the uh, the grease so I just turn it over inside out and as you can see this one there is really greasy he's a big brute male mink it's probably from the ranch I don't know but he, he probably is there's a lot of those ranch mink on the go this year a lot they're everywhere I just liberally deploy the solders and then I'll absorb all the grease I'll leave it there for a while it does a good job before I board it and before I flesh it I don't usually scrape much flesh off of mink because uh, They don't want the flesh down too much, and especially around the tail, get the sawdust in there because the tail is greasy. There you go, and give her a good shake. There's a bit of bit of flesh fat and stuff on this one, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fleshing on it before I board it. And I'll just leave it there for a while. It's mine's eleven outdoors, so I'll just put it on the uh, on the bench there for a while. It does a wonderful job side of this anyway. Just thought I'd pass that along. People made a video on that one time before, too. So. With Sardis on it, as you can see, is uh, the ring. And this one doesn't need to be any fleshing done on this one. I got two different sizes of those. So, anyway. I was ready to go on the board, this one. So. I just pull out, pull it out. Put a big lot of tension on it. Mink has not worked very much this year either. So. The tail, I got some some wire screen. Galvanized wire. That goes on. Don't need very long. Very long push pins for this.
Now I gotta get my wire to put on there now. Use it for that piece of wire. <coughs> There you go. Now that one there is, is pretty well done. Billy board. A billy board. I need a billy board. I put a, I put a billy board in my mink. Make it easier to easier to take it off. And that should be enough. That's about it. Inspection that cuts out that after. Okay, this is number two, this is the big one. Pretty well done. Just trim off this feet on there. Just pin that back. There we go. Now I need a billy board. For that one. Use a billy board, makes it easier to take off. And this is pretty good. Cut the lips off. I usually wait for that to dry first. Now I'll just go over cutting those pieces off, what's left. And that should be good to go. Not too tight. I got the two mink done. Believe it or not, that one there was the buck. Small one. As you can see, he's not very big compared to the, and that was a female. Big, 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 big. Nice fur. Another fox right there. I'm not sure now. It's ten, I believe. Anyway.